welcome back to electrical power plus in this video we will discuss about the training lesson number three of dixie five the lesson number two and lesson number one have already been uploaded on the youtube channel let's proceed to our topic our today's topic for lesson number three is binary inputs configuration in dixie five information routing many people are confused how can they configure their binary inputs in the information routing of Dixie 5? Here we have a complete list of binary inputs which we are going to configure. I hope after seeing this video you will be able to configure any type of binary input because almost I cover all types of binary inputs in this video which are commonly used. For example, binary input 1.1 is CV closed position. This is the function and this is the binary input number column. So binary input 1.1 we need to assign against CV closed position. We will go in Dixie 5 and we will see how can we assign this CV closed position to binary input 1.1. We will open information routing. So here we have the option binary inputs. Here we can see the numbers binary input 1.1, binary input 1.2 and so on continuous. Now our first binary input is binary input 1.1 CB closed position. So this is the binary input 1.1. Now we need to find where actually the CB closed position is available. So CB closed position is available in the function group circuit breaker. If we open the drop down arrow of the circuit breaker, we can see the option circuit breaker. Here we will go and uh, we will see the position available. This is a double point controllable. So the binary input 1.1 we will select here as a closed position. We will right click this, this options appear. We have five options for this. First is not not rooted. Second is CH. CH mean closed active with voltage. Whenever this binary input will be will active with voltage, it means voltage come to this binary input, then it will take as it closed position. Other is CL. CL mean active without voltage. This is also seen in closed position. For example, if we select this option, then if no voltage appear at this binary input, then it will also take it as closed position. The last two are for open position. One is OH and other is OL. OH mean active with voltage. When voltage appear, it will take, take, it, will take it as open position if we select this option. If we select the OL option, when voltage will disappear, it will take it as an open position. Now we need binary input 1.1 as active with voltage. It means when voltage appear, it will take it as close. So we will select CH. You can see here CH appear. First, uh, one thing you need to do when you are configuring, you are, you are going to configure your binary inputs. First delete all the existing binary input. For example, I configure this binary input 1.1 here. Maybe, maybe it's available in any other function block or any other function group. So uh, you can scroll up and down. Uh, first I will close this and we can see binary input 1.1 is not configured in anywhere. If any function block or any function group is uh, configured for binary input 1.1, it will see as a static then we can open and we can delete this binary input. So now our binary input 1.2 is in the same manner is CB open position. So we will do we'll go, we will go to circuit breaker and here we will right click binary input 1.2 and we will select OH whenever voltage come it will take it as open. Okay binary input 1.3 is manual close command. Yes Sometimes we need this manual close command to initiate our SOTF. So we will go into 
manual close here you can see there is input available this input is actually the manual close command we will make it h it means when voltage come it will be active okay now the fourth one is cb ready we will go into circuit breaker function group and here you can see cb ready input is available this is 1.4 you can see already at 1.5 it's available it mean two binary inputs cannot come for cb ready it should be one input so we will delete this number 5 this error will disappear you can see this error is available this two become red the signal is fed from more than one input only one input is allowed per signal okay we will delete this and this error will disappear right now the fifth one is bus vt mcb trip okay we will go into power system okay here we have v3 phase actually i have not added this bus vt that's why we cannot configure this bus vt as we have vt3 phase vt3 phase this is for line vt okay so for the time being i am keeping this binary inputs because for this we need actually bus voltage uh, function group that's not available in this configuration so what i will do uh, i have binary input 1.6 line vt mcb trip so here i will configure line vt mcb trip you can see vt miniature cb this is the trip mean open input available binary input 1.6 this already configured okay now binary input 1.7 is ar start okay we will go to auto recloser we will go into circuit breaker because the function group auto recloser is available under function block circuit breaker fundamental test i will add this auto recloser okay we have added uh, 79 auto reclosing function block so we will go here and uh, we will configure this binary input this is actually a external air start so for external air start we can select this binary input trip trip three pole for start okay so this is the number 1.7 with voltage and also we have uh, air block 1.8 so we can configure this uh, block 3 port ar this block function we will configure as 1.8 and 2.1 2.3 is spare 3.1 is also spare and uh, 3.2 is intertrip send this intertrip send is only for uh, communication purpose so this intertrip send we will not configure in the binary inputs uh, this intertrip send we will configure this in the CFC logic. So this binary input 3.3 .3 is a protection under test. It means when this binary input is uh, low, then uh, differential should be black. So in this case, we will go into line. Then we will go into uh, any function we want to block, we can open and uh, for example this work and this if we want. So if we want to block, we can block any function in block stage. It means uh, protection under test, so we will block this. Normally this is used for the differential protection. Uh, we need to block the differential protection if it's, it is under test so that it, it should not operate. This is uh, all from my side. Hope so you have uh, enjoyed this lecture. Oh, now you want to do any other binary input configuration, you can configure like this. Okay, goodbye.